Hi everyone! In this video, we will be covering the For Loops Fundamentals Challenge in Precourse Part 2. Let's start by reading the prompt. Here it says, using a for loop, decrement countdown by 1 each time the loop runs until it equals 0, making use of looping functionality instead of logging each number separately. Over in our code, we'll see that the variable countdown has already been initialized for us with a value of 10. Now, before we can do any coding of the solution, let's first think about the behavior we'd like to occur. Countdown has a starting value of 10. And after every iteration, countdown is decremented by one. So that after the first iteration, countdown's value is nine. After the second, it's eight. After the third, it's seven, and so on and so forth until we reach zero. Looking at this, we can see that we need 10 total iterations to get countdown's value from 10 to zero. Here's the first iteration, the second, the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth. With that, we can start pseudocoding out our solution. So the first thing we want to do is initialize a for loop. The for loop takes three conditions, the first being variable initialization. And in our scenario, we want to initialize a variable i, which we're using to represent the iteration round, and we're going to initialize it to 1. The second condition is the conditional in which we iterate. So in our case, we only want to iterate while i is less than or equal to 10, 10 being the number of total iterations that is required to get countdown's value from the starting value of 10 to the ending value of 0. And finally, the third condition is our incrementer, where we want to increment i by 1 after every iteration. That's the for loop initialization within the for loop body itself. We just want to decrement countdown by 1. Alrighty, that's our pseudocode. So let's go ahead and write out the actual code now. So we want to initialize for loop. Within the for loop conditions, we want to initialize a variable i to 1. Our conditional in which we continue to iterate is only while i is less than or equal to 10. And finally, our incrementer, we're going to increment i by 1. For the body of the for loop, we're going to decrement countdown. By one like so so there we have our actual code now we can actually test it by console logging the value of countdown now the value of countdown here will be the updated value and should print zero since javascript executes in a single threaded manner so that we start at the top and we initialize countdown to 10 we'll run through the for loop and countdown should be updated and again should print out zero. So let's run it. Countdown does in fact print out zero. So that is our solution, y'all. There you have it. 